What's up guys, this is Cody. I'm back making a little video. I'm going to show you guys how to put a Nike visor on a Rodell Speedflex football helmet. Uh, just kind of walk you through. Just real simple how to do it. It's a pretty simple process, but it can be a little bit tedious. So hopefully you can get through this fairly quickly and I'll show you how to do it. So, right here is my Riddell Speedflex football helmet. I've been using this helmet for about, about two years now. Absolutely love it. I've tried uh, two different face masks. The one right here, I've actually got the same one in red. And then I have the two bar one in white that I was going to use with another team and all that stuff. But this uh, face mask that I've always gone back to. I'm going to do a full review on the helmet and everything later on at some point. I don't know when, but we'll see. Anyways, back to what the purpose of this video is about. So to start off, you get two clips. You got your left one, your right one. Now with the Nike clips, you get two different types. You get the bigger ones for like the more thicker face mask or the thicker bars on the face mask you have the small ones which is what these are and these are better for stuff like the speed flex and some of the shut helmets have face masks I think that are better for the that these clips are better for so I'm gonna go ahead you may, you do want to spread these things apart a little bit Try and do this to where y'all can see better. I also do it without break, breaking them. And I'm putting them on the top bar right here. Uh, just as low as. And as much space as you have on here, you really don't need to go all the way down to the bottom. Unless it was one of the big lineman face masks where they tend to kind of narrow this a little bit. But if you're in that situation, you can visit it then. So now for the bright side. I'm pop that on a little bit easier there. So I'm going to go ahead and put the visor on and I'm going to try, Let's see, I don't know if it's going to work, yep. So you're able, on the speed flex, you're able to put these helmet go in through the top because the hookup points are on the sides uh, because they got the quick release on there, top and bottom. So, what you want to do is because nobody wants a visor riding right up against their nose or their face. If you get hit, it's going to get hit right in the face of the head. It's going to come up. It's going to hit your nose. It's going to hurt. It's going to suck. We all know that. Those of us that play football wear visors. You want to get close to the face mask. I see guys that are doing this and wearing it like that and. To be honest with you, in my opinion, it just looks stupid. And like I said, it's gonna hurt when you, somebody comes up there and hits you square in the face. So now I start the process. I'm gonna do this a little bit, be a little bit more convenient to myself. I'm gonna push it down. So now get the second part, the back part of this. And this is where it starts getting a little challenging. So you want to take this part right here that's going to come. You're going to go in to the inside of the helmet. Now sometimes people prefer to take off the face mask. I don't want to mess with that right now. Uh, but it does get a little tedious either which way you do it. And 
there. Now we've got the got that part on. Now you get your screw and you screw it in. Righty tighty, lefty loosey, basically. So we got the left side on now. I'm gonna go ahead and push out the visor more. I'm gonna go ahead and flip it around this way so that way I can see better what I'm doing. I don't know why this chin strap I've had a hard time with, like this particular one. I haven't had a hard time with any other ratchet lock ones that I've gotten from Riddell, but this one I've had a hard time with. I might need to put some WD-40 on it and see if, on the strap and see if that helps. So now I've got the visor pushed out, you'll see in just a second. Again, you put that little T-hook, or whatever you, it's not a T-hook, but you put it in there, match up with the hole on the outside part, put the screw back in, line it up. Yeah, I'm using a Phillips head screwdriver. You can also use a flat head. And there are some of the electric, or the battery powered drill ones that you can use. Though I don't want to do that because I don't want to do it too hard and crack the visor. Now it's just starting to slip. Screwdriver won't slip a little bit. But yeah, you want to make sure you can get it as tight as you can. Uh, as you get hit more and more, the helmet, the visor is going to get a little bit more loose. The screws are. So you definitely, before a game or practice, you definitely want to go ahead and put a couple of twists on there just to make sure and just play it safe. You also want to go ahead and use some something to just clean up the visor and just get all that all that stuff off. So uh, yeah here it is. As you can see I went ahead and pushed it out. Now one thing you may want to do is slip in the thumb to kind of hold it against. I don't know how well that's going to work. Uh, work for some people, but that's just something I try to do. So again, you want to just a little review. I use it's recommended to use the smaller clips for a speed flex face mask. Uh, it is going to have an L or a right for left and right on the back part of these clips, and you'll have the the other part to it that you will put in the back, screw it in there, match up with the hole for the clip and for the visor. I said with this speed flex, since you have the have the hookups here and here on each side, you can go over the top. Again, some people prefer to use to apply the visor to the face mask with the visor removed from the helmet, or with the face mask removed from the helmet. Some people don't. Uh, to each their own. I just went ahead and left it as is and slid it in that way. So, again, from there, you're still gonna have to hold it. It doesn't really matter 
how close it is when you first like put the first clip and screw on. Where it gets important is after you do that, so that way when you do the other side, it's in place. So from there, uh, we want, I'm gonna go ahead and show you what it looks like. Again, I need to go through and clean this out, but here's what it looks like. So, again, I use the clear stuff. People use, like to use the uh, tin advisors and all that stuff, kind of like Ezekiel Elliott and all of them, with Daniel Tomlinson, which is cool. They look cool and all that. They're flashy, but the problem I have with them is especially when you're playing night games or night practice where especially if it's not as well lit you also got dark football you also got to consider you're not be able to see as well especially if being a receiver or DB like myself or I'm a receiver you're not going to be able to see the ball as well the safety issue as well and from what I understand the NCAA outlawed the 10 advisors at least without medical clearance for like people with sensitive, uh, their eyes are sensitive to light. You want to, <clears throat> or that they, they mandated that all visors be clear. Reason being for checking for concussions or guys that get knocked out and their eyes kind of roll back or something like that. Having the clear ones, it's going to be much easier for the trainer or the doctor to see as opposed to the the tinted ones and the colored ones. While they're cool and stuff, they're not always the safest route to go unless your eyes are sensitive to light and you have a medical prescription where I'm at, I see times where people just go to the doctor just get get signed off to wear them. And honestly, I think that's stupid. That's just my opinion on it, but uh, that's them, that's not me. That's just my own personal opinion on it. But. Uh, that's pretty much my two cents on visors and how to put one put one on Riddell Speedplex. So if, if you enjoy the video, like, comment, share, subscribe. Tell your friends if this helps. If this video helped you, awesome. I appreciate it. Have a good Easter, guys.